it feels like a, a really big weekend or either side of weekend coming up. Uh, I mean, you approach this with the excitement? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think, you know, there's no reason not. There's a lot of optimism around. Um, everybody's in good spirits, I think, and uh, everybody's looking forward to the game. I think with Preston, um, they're a tough team. A really tough team. They've got some good players. They've got some real good experience in there, and they they will try and put us under pressure. It's it's a, a real challenge on uh, uh, or tomorrow evening, and um, yeah, one we'll look forward to because you know if we can uh, if we can put in a really good performance and get the three points, then you know it, that really bodes well going into the uh, the fixture the following week on the following Friday against uh, West Brom obviously that's punctuated by the FA Cup tie with uh, with Maidstone Hi Ben how you doing Good morning Clive how are we doing my mate Yari Yeah good thank you uh, you must have been really pleased to get back in into first team action Oh absolutely buzzing yeah um, it's been a long few months obviously but um, I kept my spirits high and uh, trained hard and obviously got me rewards in the end and thankfully went out there and we uh, we got over the line and kept a clean sheet. How difficult was it to keep your spirits up at that time? I think at first it was because obviously personally I didn't feel I deserved to become out of the team but it done me the world of good, um, spoke the gaffer and um, got my head right, give it a few days, you know, you, I wouldn't say I sulked but obviously I was down and um, I got myself back into this place where I just thought the only way I'm going to get back in the team is if I work hard, which is obviously a natural thing, but um, I, I got my head down and worked hard and like you say, I got my rewards, so it's it's nice to see that I've been rewarded for my hard work. How are your players looking in terms of fatigue, physically and mentally? Are they refreshed from having a few days of that again? Yeah, I gave them a few days off after Stoke. Um, and I think that I think you'll probably find generally that uh, that, that some other managers and coaches have done the same thing because of the way that the players look. You know, you, you sort of look at things and they need, you know, when they need a breather, you know, when they need to work harder. Um, you know, I think some it would have benefited more than more than others, but um, there has been some work done as well. It's not just been a total um, shutdown, really. You know, and they've still got players that are coming back from injury and. Um, Obviously, are a little bit nearer, but still too far away for this uh, for this week. Um, so you know, it, it's been a it's been a, a balancing act to get because we have got a small number, and certain positions, obviously the midfield position, has always been a uh, or since the injuries to Ben Sheaf, and then latterly the one that that really then exacerbated the the issue was Jamie Allen's fractured cheekbone. So. That puts you on the on the back foot, really, because you're trying to give people breathers and, and and rests, and that's just not been not been possible. But you know, so at the end of the day, we've got a, a, a situation where we try and keep everybody as 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 ready as we possibly can. So you try and take that those you can't take fatigue away because there's an accumulative effect as well. So you've got to try and get them as ready as you possibly can do to play in the games, and they are thick and fast all the time. So this is the nature of it. This is why it's so difficult. This division. And obviously tensions are on that game, but you have got the FA Cup tie on Monday, and he sort of rotated the the goalkeepers for for the FA Cup. Are you hoping that you might get to play in, in both these games? No, definitely. Like you see, I want to play as many games as I, as I can before now in the end of the season, and um, hopefully, if I can say it, you and the governor might read this after that, he might play me on Monday. That's what I hope for. I do really want to play. Um, like you say, because obviously it's a good opportunity to um, to kick on and hopefully get the win on Monday night, and you never know. Could play Newcastle away next game and all oh, them one kick. kick well, I can't say too much on it. Um, yeah, give take it to them. <laughs> yeah, just on your squad, Victor Torp. Has he had his scan and what's the news there? Um, Victor is um, a little bit better. Um, he's not got any pain, so he will be looked at. He'll be looked at this morning. And then we'll make a decision on on him. But there's you know there's always a risk element, but it's balancing a risk against against the potential reward. So we'll have a, we'll have a good look at that today. And I can. But make, he's got a chance for this game, has he? Yeah, I can make a decision after after uh, this meeting. Obviously, we'll get the uh, the physio will be meeting with the players, and 
we'll get an assessment done and we can make a decision from that.